Egret was captured by Jon Snow and Corrin as the sole survivor of their assault on her watchpost. She instructed her captors to burn the bodies of her companions, but Corrin questioned her motives, thinking that she wanted a fire to attract more wildlings. He then instructs Jon to execute her, telling him to catch up to him after the deed is done. Jon prepares to do so, but cannot bring himself to kill her. Egret begs Jon to get it over with and awaits the stroke from his sword, but he hesitates and Egret seizes the opportunity to escape. Jon recaptures her, becoming isolated from his brothers in the process. With night approaching, Jon refuses to make a fire, forcing them to sleep out in the cold. Egret convinces him to huddle next to her to share body warmth but then makes sexual advances towards him as they fall asleep, which he rebuffs. After a cold night, Egret awakens, still a prisoner of John. She turns the conversation to his virginity, during which John presses his loyalty to the Night's Watch. John leads Egret along as he tries to find Corrin Halfhand. On the way she argues with John, saying that the North belonged to the Free Folk long before the Andals came. Egret tells John that, as both Northerners and the Free Folk are descendants of the First Men, there is no sense in the two constantly fighting. After luring John off his guard by attempting to seduce him, she manages to escape again and led him into a wildling ambush. Egret brings John to the Lord of Bones, who orders him executed. She convinces Rattleshirt that Mance will want to question John because of his stark blood. The Lord of Bones presents Corrin, whom he had captured. The half-hand openly blames John for the deaths of his men, and this discord intrigues Egret. Unbeknownst to Egret, Corrin's outward rage toward John is actually a plan to install John as a spy within Mance Raider's army. During their way to meet with Mance Raider, Egret continues to toy with John. Corrin communicates a plan to John, through which John would appear to desert the Night's Watch and join up with the Wildlings. He insists that John and he fight and allows John to kill him. Egret and the rest of the band are stunned, but accept John as one of their own and free his hands.